Aloha and welcome to Talk Story with John Waihe'i. We have another very interesting show for you this afternoon. Actually, we are bringing back some of our former guests to talk about a very important subject, and that is teaching reading to people, but especially to children. And the name of the show would be the power and promise of reading aloud. So we have the uh, reading experts. First of all, we have Kara Kusunoki. Not Russian by any stretch of the imagination. Not this show, anyway. And, <laughs> and the um, uh, executive director of Read to Me International. And with her, we have... Lynn Waihe'e, who is the president of Read to Me International, and as a part of full <laughs> disclosure, also married to me, which is why she's such a special guest. I am on my best behavior, viewers, so don't expect anything really crazy to happen on this particular show. All right, here we are, ladies. You're going to talk to us about reading in um, your organization. So how, and by the way, these guys are like teachers, you know? <laughs> so they came to, not, not only did they work their way into my show, they also brought the question. Just so you know what happens if you bring teachers to your show. Now, how long have you been, uh, how long has Read to Me International been in uh, business? 23 years. Mm -hmm. 23 years? Yes. We've wow. been working very hard. So what, did you folks succeed somebody else? Or uh, do you, do you look much too young to be uh, working <laughs> in the same place for 23 years? Well, she's just, Tara has just been with us for a little over a year now. And, and what does that say? You're the one that looks young? Is that it? Uh, or, no. <laughs> I think I look rather aged. All right. What do you guys do? What is it? What's your mission? We have a simple mission, to share the love and joy of reading aloud. And wh why is that important? Why is reading aloud important? I mean, you know, my dad used to read to me when I was yeah. growing up. Yeah, I, I oh, great books, The Black Stallion, which is my favorite, mm -hmm. you know, and all of the variations, The Tom Hardy Boys. I'm sure you guys have heard of Nancy Drew and mm -hmm. the rest of it. Yeah. So what do you read to kids in this day and age? What, what, uh, well, first of all, why is reading aloud important? I think you nailed it. So what was your former profession or job before you came to do Think Tech? I take out the garbage at our house. Good one. <laughs> What's Kara's job? Does she just sit there and like nod her head? Is that like because the president's here or? She works really, really hard. Okay, so, so what's... Okay, that's my point. You were once governor of Hawaii, and you wouldn't have been there had your father not read aloud to you when you were a young man. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I've well, got him okay, to so, thank for all of this. Yes, <laughs> being read to. So we, okay, so seriously, we know that when children are read to, um, they will have the skills they need to become successful readers for the most part. Okay, for the most part. So this is why it's critical that when parents bring their children home from the hospital from day one, in fact, they can even do it prenatally while the child is still in the womb, read aloud to the child, and great start. Well, if you're a parent like me, though, don't sing to the child in the womb because then they'll come out not <laughs> being able to sing. But reading works, right? Reading well, works. Kara? Mm-hmm. Yes. Non-Russian, non Kara. Non-Russian. Um, let's, uh, what are some of the programs that Read to, La, uh, read to Me Sure. Um, so last time we were on the show, we talked about our Hakumo'olelo program, which, uh, just to refresh everyone's memory, is the program where we have volunteers going into correctional facilities in Hawaii and coaching inmates on how to read, um, I'm sorry, how to write and illustrate their own children's storybook. So the, these are inmates, lady inmates that wrote to their wrote books for their children. Correct, right, right. And we actually have some samples today, but but it's for many different ages, particularly young children who don't have access to their mother being at home, and so they want to have a way to connect. And that's one of our uh, 
signature programs that we've been running for quite some time now. We've seen and heard success stories, um, and actually we're featuring one of our authors from that program at our next conference coming up. Oh, really? Up. Mm -hmm. So, um, where's the example of the book? Well, okay, so what do we do, John? We read aloud. Okay. So I have to read a story. No, but uh, I want to see a copy of the book first. No, not yet. Not yet, okay. Not yet, okay. we okay. want to keep you in suspense. <laughs> so this is called Andrew, Drew, and Drew, and it's written by Barney Salzberg. And he is one of our two keynote speakers for our conference. Well, we're going to and talk more about your conference in now, a little now, while. Now, now. We're going to talk about it now after I read the story, okay? Okay, go All ahead. Right. So, um, Barney Salzberg has written this book, and you will notice as we go through this book, it's very creative. It's kind of out-of-the-box kind of book. And that's really what our conference is about. Okay. It's about igniting your imagination. So this is Barney, and it starts off by saying, Andrew was a doodle boy. And you know, when I go out into the classrooms, I always have to say, do you know what doodle means? Because otherwise, they erupt into laughter thinking it's something else. Oh. So that's how we start. He was a doodle well, I'm glad boy. glad you clarified that. And you'll notice the lines throughout this story. He drew and drew and drew. What is that? Okay. It starts with a line. Okay. Andrew never knew what would happen when he began. Oh, wow. Isn't that neat? Yes. He began with nothing but what? Take a guess. He began with nothing but, but a pencil. A line. A line. There we go. Oh boy, I'm not that good a student back then. And either. before <laughs> he knew it, he was flying on a kite. Ideas would start to fly. See, he's now in a rocket ship. Andrew thought that making a drawing was like making a doodle. <laughs> is it a good guess? <laughs> Magic. Magic. Okay, I got it. Now you get it. Okay, but well, I do Almost. want to talk to you, though, a little deeper. Okay, this was we'll, written by... Uh, Barney Salzberg. Barney Salzberg. Yeah. I won't finish the book, but this is a sample of the kind of person that we have coming to our conference. Talking okay, about when imagination. is your conference? We should set some foundation. Um, it's... Your conference is next week, I understand, it right? It is uh, uh, June 6th and 7th, okay. Thursday and Friday. It's two all-day all day con uh, celebration. <laughs> yeah, and at, one of the, uh, Lau, by the way. people that will be presenting at that conference, I understand, is Barney Salzberg. Yes. And what will he talk about? Like, how do you write a book? Who do you, what's the importance of a book to a child? What, what, what exactly will he uh, I think he's probably present? going to address the parents and, and educators that we have there and the service providers and talk to them about ways that they can show their creativity so that children can learn in a fun environment and get into reading in a way that's fun and enjoyable. Okay, so you're going to be having a conference uh, next week. Yes. It's a two-day conference. And who are some of the participants that uh, will be at the they're, conference? They're parents. They're They'll teachers. Be parents preschool and teachers. teachers, elementary school teachers. Um, what about the uh, older kids? I mean, uh, teachers that teach at the intermediate and high school, will they also be there? It's really not meant for them. But I think some of the strategies that we share probably could help them. By the way, uh, we also have another, and, and he's a national author. Both of the um, national authors that we have are award-winning authors. And we also have Keiko Kaza, and I think we have a couple of books that we can Right, we'll, we'll show. get to the co couple of books. But So people are invited to the conference. Yes. Do they get any kind of credit for it? We have... Non PDE three credits for uh, I, I, we don't DOE. understand. Uh, we're don't just, worry, they know what it is. So I teachers know, but, can uh, get so that the rest of us know what's non PDE credit. Well, it's credit that they can apply toward for their professional development. Well, 
Something Correct. along that it, line. It can be yes. added to their records yeah, so they can show records. and they can earn credits that way. So this is uh, also important for professional development yes. as well for as preschool personally. teachers, for mm -hmm. preschool teachers as well. Okay, so th this conference will have Andrew... Uh, um, well, it'll have Barney Salzberg as and one. And you're going to say, what's and another? Uh, Keiko Kaza is the other one. So I think we have uh, a couple of book covers that we can show. Okay. Um, so she, this was her first book that she wrote. It's called The Wolf's Chicken Stew. Very adorable. And one of our favorites, which I brought today as well, is the second um, book cover that we have to show you. And it's called My Lucky Day. All right. And it's, it's got a little twist because you... Because it read, looks like the fox is not going to eat the little piggy. You don't think Ooh. so? Oh, I don't know. It just looks like that piggy's what? dancing there looking <laughs> so happy. Well, you will have to read the book to see whose lucky day it was. Okay. Well, maybe it's the foxes. Maybe he gets eaten. So, they, <laughs> so come to the conference, right? So that will be yeah. taking place next week, um, Thursday and Friday, I gather. And yeah. you're going to be held, holding it where? At the Ko'olau. Uh, Ballrooms and conference center. Oh, on the uh, on the windward side, yes. call our ballroom. Yes. All right. So, in addition to holding conferences, I'm sure you uh, like build up different types of programs. We were just talking mm -hmm. about the prison program, yes. and um, why don't we uh, just kind of re brief us again about what uh, what going on there. Mm -hmm. You mean in the prison right. facilities? Yeah. So um, right now we actually just finished our last sessions for our newest cohort of incarcerated parents there. Um, and we have seven graduates in July graduating from the program. And we're really excited to launch their books. It's in the production right now uh, process. Wow. And um, we have books that shared um, different things about mommy's love for you. Uh, we had a story about a pig that was lost and then was found. Um, just giving you a preview of a few of them. And the we pig also is had... it's, uh, hanging out with the fox. <laughs> it's, well, <laughs> that's a surprise. I don't want to spoil her story. But this pig is very different from that pig in Keiko's book. Um, and, you know, pigs, some, for some reason, pigs are the trend now. Everyone wants to write about pigs or foxes. Um, and so we have a, a really wonderful story about a pig who's, who's lost and wants to find their way home. Um, and all of the books kind of have that, that theme of love and sending a message home to Which their is kids. What, and these, again, are mothers writing to their Correct. children, mm -hmm. right? So um, is, this a, one of the, is that a book? Th this is one of the books that we have that we've uh, published. And you can see it's... A beautiful uh, day. Yeah. And it's also a beautiful book. and, and uh, it's well, amazing that some of them um, are, can, can illustrate as well as they do. We help them with the stories, helping them to write the story. We go through and we do edits and edits and edits. And this book, they, whatever they write, like this one has actually been published. Yes. Now, yes. at your conference, will, you be, uh, will people from this program also be there? The uh, prison program? Actually, we have a very successful story about one of the ladies who went through this program. She's going to be on an author's panel. So we always have a, a Hawaii author's panel, three people that are coming, and they are Tammy Yi and Lois Kim and Gabrielle Holt. Gabri Gabri oh, okay, Gabri Gabrielle Holt. You know, um, we're going to take a short break. Uh, and when we come back, I want to uh, talk to you a little bit more about how you are integrating okay. this program into your conference mm -hmm. because it sounds like a very interesting. So mm -hmm. we'll Thank be you. right back. Okay. Aloha. This is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week, Mondays at 3, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. We welcome you to tune in and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there and we have an awesome uh, studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna come away inspired. 
like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at 3 o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Cynthia Sinclair. And I'm Tim Apicella. We are hosts here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks, Thanks so much. So much. Welcome back to Talk Story with John Waihe'i and our exciting guests who are here visiting us from Read to Me International, which has dedicated itself to the concept that reading aloud to children makes not only for better students, but a better community. And it gives parents and students a chance to uh, be with each other. We have two guests with us this afternoon, as you met earlier, for those of you that watched the first half of the program. We have Kara Kusonoki, no other pronunciation, <laughs> and we have Lynn Waihe'e, married to the host. And, and you know, you, you really got, guys, you really got to come to our house, because not only is she committed to, uh, you know, reading to children in general, but if you walk around the place, I, I must have the only house in Hawaii that has material like this lying around, you know. Uh, the joy and the promise, power and promise of reading aloud and independent reading. I mean, this is like normal stuff. Um, when you're eating breakfast, in case you want something to read, here it is. So, Except our house is... So messy. Do not invite people to our No, house. I, I'm not. But if you, if you, if, but you got to understand, uh, okay. the mess has something yes. to do okay. with reading. Yes. All right. And it's everywhere. It. So we were talking about your conference, okay, yes. which you're having next week. Yes. And you have a, bring inviting teachers, uh, inviting parents. Uh, parents, you're inviting people who deal, I guess, with children in general. And, um, and uh, some of the, the, the um, I guess, clients of your program that you run at the women's prison where the, where the women actually learn how to write and do produce books like these for, uh, for their children. So um, tell me more about it. I mean, so they'll be there. They'll be, uh, what, what's going on? They'll be how many, they're going to be, the, this particular author will be on a panel. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I meant to say that this, particular author that we're featuring was released and um, after her release she went to the Hawaii Book and Music Festival and looked for when a publisher. When you say released, you mean released from prison? Yes. And she went yes. to the Honolulu Book and Music Festival, Festival to look for a publisher and she found one. So she is a real published awesome. author. And wow, then so she, this book can be not bought. Not this one. Another book. Yes. And, and, she, and then she also wrote a second book. So her first book was Mommy Loves Mommy you. Loves Oh, what a you. great title. And the second one was My Best Friend. Mm -hmm. So she's got two bu books that have been published. And so she really is an author. Oh, coming uh, out you, of you, this program. And, so, and, 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 uh, and she'll be uh, a participant at the uh, conference. Yes, as well. yes, now, as an author. You, you have other programs besides just the prison program. I, I know that you've got something with the homeless. So, uh, Kara, why don't you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your uh, program at the um, village? Uh, sure. What's the, I forgot the name. So of the it. village's name is Kahiki Village, and it's <laughs> actually located near Sand Island Access Road in Ibile. And it was actually a concept that was dreamt by um, Duane Krisu, as well as different developers and nonprofits together, who wanted to create a solution, a long-term solution, to provide housing for formerly homeless families. So it's, it's first of its kind of public-private partnership. And um, so far, um, they've finished a first phase of the village. And so there are about, I want to say, 80 families or maybe 80 individuals living on site right now. So there are like 80 individuals or uh, families. There are mm -hmm. a number of families, mm -hmm. a substantial number of families, though, because 
and they're, they're living there right now. Okay. And what do you do? You do. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your program? So, so far we're excited. We launched um, what we call our Readers Rallies, where the entire... What are you calling it? A Readers, readers Rally. Rallies. Readers Rally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go right, ahead. right. So we invite the whole community at Kauhige Village to come together for a night of books, read-alouds, music, and food, wow. and social networking. And we've had two so far. The first uh, Readers Rally we had featured Jake Shimabukuro. Oh, nice. As our featured guest, yes. um, and it was a really oh, wonderful, wonderful evening, right, Lynn? Yeah, unforgettable. And, and mm -hmm. I, I'm sure that the uh, the people there must have really enjoyed it. I mean, it's not. I mean, I don't get to see. <laughs> right, you, know. you usually have to pay sixty dollars to see Jake, and yeah. so we opened it well, to I'm this stuck community. at home reading pamphlets. <laughs> <That's you know? laughs> well, next time you should come to our our next readers rally. Um, because our next guest, this is happening in July, um, is going to be Roby Kahakalau. Oh, wow. She knows she's got a great hit out mm -hmm. on uh, Hawaiian Kind Radio. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, uh, she's... Kaliki Oka Wai, I think, or something oh. like that. It was written by Brickwood Galateria, ah. a former senator, but it's right, a beautiful right. song. It was a song dedicated to mom, so it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect for the work that you do. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And so she, what, what do you, you said you had two of these programs. So right. Jake played at the first one. What would happen at the second? The second, we featured Frank DeLima. Frank DeLima? Right. Classic. You know, Classic. <laughs> very much comedian, personality, um, brought his energy to the crowd. So people were dancing and, I, and I'm laughing. I'm sure he, I'm sure, I'm sure that he taught the audience how to speak perfect English. Too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Along with Buta Hunt and peanut butter and jelly, all the classics. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. I can just see him going eight, eight, eight. And, or, what is that? <laughs> well, isn't that what he four does? Two, two, yeah. two, four, two, 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 two. Yeah, it's two, 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 or something. Yeah. Yes, yes. Sounds like Frank. So, okay, so you're working at the homeless village. Now, is any part of that program going to be incorporated into your uh, um, convention? Hmm. No. Well, uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, because that's just, well, at the end of our program, just for maybe 45 minutes or so, at the tail end of our conference, we do have the guest authors, the um, two featured national authors, they will be reading aloud uh, their, something from their work. So you're, you're, yeah. you're the, we the conclude with a that, read aloud. Okay, well, uh, we already talked about one of your authors, uh, Barney Salzberg, yes. who is a national author. And, and you Kaza. mentioned... Uh, uh, Keiko Kaza. Keiko Kaza. So, yeah, so um, they showed... He's already Keiko, showed. we just showed yes. her. And who else uh, besides those two, if anybody, do you have at the conference? Tammy Yi. Who? Tammy Yi. Tammy Yi. Yes. Okay. And Lois Kim. Lois who Kim. Who had gone through the, our program. And Gabriella Hope. Okay. We have some books um, that uh, we can bring up. Um, it, these are from our um, Hakumo Olelo program, where we work with the inmates at uh, uh, the Women's Correctional Facility. So oh, th these these were books that were written by some of your other wow yes guests so, who might also be guests at your convention. But oh, this no, is no. one called they're, they're, I Love yeah. Hilo okay. by yes. uh, Yvette Butterfield. Mm -hmm. What's the, this book about? This one is all about um, so Hilo is Yvette's hometown, and she, she just features. recaps. All of the places yeah. that she says is a must-sees of Hilo. So she's almost like a tour guide of sorts in this book, but for children. So it's great. Yeah. Lots of pictures, food, you know, entertainment. Yeah. Lots of fun in there. Oh, terrific. Okay, we got others. We got mm -hmm. at least two more. So why don't we shoot the books up? This mm -hmm. is the great advantage. Is this another book that's been written by somebody yes. in your program? Yeah, this is the f these um, three that we're featuring right now. They were all done by the inmates and they're all they've all been published this this is yes the, and, and there's one more and there's one more those have all been already published so a hawaiian underwater adventure the one prior to this and yes so these books are all published books that came yes. out of the prison program yes. oh fantastic mm -hmm. okay so get and these people 
uh, at least some of the people that are in that program will be at your conference. Uh, oh, just one. Because the rest are still, I got it, yeah, too bad. But well, hopefully one day, you know, they'll, they'll be released and can make a meaningful contribution to society. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Now, I, I know that one night I got dragged out to Waianae. And, uh, oh, yes. and uh, you know, we, uh, we went out there and uh, it, there were people reading to kids and there was just, it was just an exciting uh, evening at the, um, the Waianae Library out there. Mm -hmm. uh, was it the Nanakuli? Was it the new one? Nanakuli. So we got yeah. about two minutes. So why don't you tell us real quickly what, what happens in the Nanakuli Library in the district of Waianae. Oh, sure. So we um, also recently goes out to different communities and offers workshops. We do read alouds for fun. And so that particular event that you're talking about is where we go out and we read to kids. It's just a fun way of really getting parents engaged. We see a lot there of There were a lot of there were parents that were actually bringing their kids in right, to right. listen to. The, mm -hmm. Do you have celebrity readers and people like that? Or do you at invite our, people? At our programs like Kahuiki Village, we do. So we try to bring in different people. Um, but what we like to model is that anyone can read out loud. It's just a matter of just trying it out, having fun, making a few mistakes and learning from it. That's really the value, I think. And, you know, as a parent, kids connect to their parents most closely, when they're, especially when they're young. So it's really about that bonding and experience that they can share together. Well, that's fantastic. And, um, you know, the, the thing about reading aloud is that it also helps the reader. Mm -hmm. I, Absolutely. I believe, yes. anyway. Absolutely. Yes. Well, yes. we want to thank you for being uh, with me uh, this afternoon. <laughs> and I also, I guess, well, we want to encourage people uh, to uh, find out more about your conference. Now, where, where can they do that? You, you got a website or something? Or? We do have a website. Yes. Um, the website address is www.readtomeintl.org. And they can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Right. Well, thank you. And okay. uh, it's uh, good luck on the conference. And thank you for all the good work you're doing. Thanks for thank having you. us. Thank you for having us.